Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese. This is my beauty channel where we come to slay, especially on a budget. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that red button down below, turning on your post notifications and hashtagging Reese Gang. As you can see, I have a fresh wig install. This hair is brought to you by Celie Hair Company. So of course, I'm gonna show you what's inside the box, how I customize this wig, as well as what to do if your wig is way too small for you and how I styled this unit. So if that's something you are interested in and all of the above, then keep on watching. Bye. Lisa, do you think you overdid it with our hair? Mm -mm. Nope. I sure don't. Cause we going to Beverly Hills. Now if I'm gonna do good at that audition, we got to look like stars. So what's in this beautiful purple box is a silk wig bag to store your wigs, a wig cap, mink lashes, information on the store, a bonnet, as well as a headband. So this unit is a 24 inch body wave wig. It is very thick and the luster on this hair is gorgeous. It's pre-plucked as you can see, but it does need its knots bleached. This unit has adjustable straps and combs and it is a whopping 200% density at 13 by four lace wig. So I'm just showing you how the unit looks before I customize it. The hair, as you can see, is so gorgeous. It just flips perfectly. I wanna say this is a very straight wig, but it does say body wave. So we're gonna customize this wig. So if you are wondering what bleach I'm using is BW2 with 40 volume developer. I do use a plastic knife to apply my wigs. I have a very detailed video on that. I'll link it in the comment cards and down below for you. But we're going to speed this step up because I think it's the easiest step out of wig customization. So I am using Arrogant Taze plucking method when customizing this unit as you can see on this unit is very thin at the hairline but then after you part it is very thick so i parted the baby hairs the pre-plucked baby hairs and then went in on the hairline to thin it out a little more i do use a white towel and just pluck on certain sections and thin out the hair so it looks very very natural Alrighty, so we are going to install this unit. While I was trying to adjust this unit to fit me, I realized this unit was way too small. So as you can see, the hairline is past my wig cap that I glued onto my scalp. And is every time I adjust it, one side will be too short. And I was freaking out a little bit. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. But I realized this is a blessing in disguise and how I can show you how to fix a unit if it's way too small. Not all wigs are gonna be perfect. So here is where I can show you how to save money. So I take off the wig and I decide to cut the wig cap itself from the lace frontal. So here I'm pointing to it, I cut it down so 
on both sides so I thought I filmed it but I guess I didn't so I'm so sorry you guys if you can't really understand so here is a view of how I cut the lace frontal from the wig cap itself near the ears it is gonna slide off a little bit some stylists actually sew down that part near your ear area if it's too small so it, it can actually hang on to your head so here i'm just cutting the ear tabs off because now the wig fits me perfectly as you can see it is before my ears the hairline is ahead of my ears as it wasn't before if that makes sense i hope this makes sense you guys but here i am just cutting the ear tabs as you can see the wig is very very loose because i cut the lace frontal away from the wig so now you're going to see a white part near the ear area the only downfall with this method is you won't be able to put your hair up in a ponytail which that's not really a big thing for me because i don't ever wear my hair up in high ponytails anyways with wigs but this is just something that can easily be fixed you can maybe sew some tracks near the ear area so if you do decide to put your hair up on a ponytail none of your wig cap is showing under i finessed this unit you guys so i'm so actually happy that this happened so i could show you guys how to fix those areas so now it's fitting perfectly near the ears i'm so happy i was able to show you guys this yes but yeah that's basically how i fixed this unit So I decided to do a side part to truly show you guys that you can still finesse a side part even if your wig is way too small. So I like to use my She's Bomb wax stick, I, it'll be linked down below. I put that all throughout the frontal, hot comb that down so the frontal can lay flat on my head. If you guys are interested in how I apply my wigs, definitely check out my 2021 install method. This is, that will be a very detailed video on how I install my wigs. Here I'm just going to show you how I style my wigs and have those nice bouncy Marilyn Monroe curls. So here I am just taking the bang and putting that away. I take my curling iron and curl it away from my head. So. As you can see, I just curl it away. I do it all throughout my head, except for the bangs. So here is these juicy curls. They look so good. I take my She hairspray. It's a very light hairspray. It's not too harsh, so it won't make the curls all crunchy. Um, I do use the She products to style my hair because I feel like those are the best products to use for styling purposes on wigs. So as you can see, I am curling the bang the same way I'm curling the rest of the hair, which is away from my face. What I do differently is basically hold the curl and I try to basically pin curl this hair so as you can see I'm struggling but I just twist it into how the curl was formed and get a little banana clip and hold that curl in I do that for the bang itself you can definitely do that throughout the whole head, but your girl ain't got time for all that. So I just pin curl my bang only so I could just get that extra volume around the bang area. I did want to do a quick hair review overall this hair is so gorgeous the luster's there everything was on point it was just the wig construction itself could have been better because of course the wig was a little bit too small for me so if you do have the choice to choose your wig units definitely definitely choose a bigger size just in case 
um and also look at the descriptions and other influencers as well to see their overall opinions on this wig unit so once i finish with my baby hairs i take out my pins in the curls and then i just basically get my wide tooth comb and brush away from my head so brush away like you're going to wrap your hair just like this just wrap it away i think i learned this method from simone charise like shout out to her she has the same name as me <laughs> i believe i seen her tiktok come through and she explained how to get those luscious bouncy wavy curls by just combing away from your head like you're wrapping your hair and then pushing it towards your face So of course you can definitely stop at that last step, but I'm gonna take it a little further and cut some layers into this wig. I do some very, very light cutting. So what I like to do is use an eyebrow razor and just pick a piece of the hair on my bang and try to cut it a little shorter at a diagonal so the curls can lay on top of each other. And just play around with the hair practice does make perfect i remember i was way too scared to cut layers into this hair but you know the more i practice the more my styles start looking very very professional you guys seen the growth on this channel the growth is real <laughs> but that is basically it that's how i style my wigs um overall i really love the luster of this hair it is beautiful um very very minor shedding no tangling whatsoever the only downside was just the sizing of the wig like the construction of the wig is beautiful it's just too small for my head thank you so much Lee hair for letting me try out your wig and constructing a beautiful style with it i love i still i'm gonna rock this hair no matter what even though it's too small for me it still look good it still look like it's a look a fresh install so thank you so so much don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos you guys i'll be seeing you in my next video bye Meditating and taking time away